When, when the Lord fills me with his mercy, what is that doing to my heart? Blessed are the pure in heart. You see, mercy leads you to having a pure heart. But why do we need a pure heart? Because without a pure heart, I cannot see God. Blessed are those who are pure in the heart, for they shall see God. And we said about seeing God, meaning you get to know how God operates, how God functions. The problem is with the church of the 21st century, and I'm talking about church leaders like me, I'm not judging. If I judge, I'm judging myself before anyone else. The problem with the church leaders of the 21st century, they talk about Jesus Christ, but they don't know him. Not all of them. Don't get me wrong. There are some wonderful leaders. There are some beautiful leaders. But, but some who hold influential position, authoritative position in the church, those who can make a difference in the church. Unfortunately, they talk about the Lord, but they don't know the Lord. You see, without a pure heart, I cannot see God, meaning I don't know how he thinks. I don't know how he functions. I don't know what he wants from me. If I don't know him, how can I serve him? I cannot serve a stranger. I can only serve someone I am familiar with. How do I get to know him? By having a pure heart. How do I get the pure heart? I need to be merciful. How do you be merciful? You need to be hungry and thirsty for good deeds, righteous deeds. Not evil deeds, righteous deeds. Now, to be hungry and thirsty for righteous deeds, you need to be meek, trusting the Lord. You need to let the Lord navigate your life. Don't do it your way. Let him do it his way. Because without the Lord, there is no good deeds. When the Lord works in you, then you can be hungry and thirsty for righteousness, which is the work of God. The work of God, only God can do when you allow him to do it in you and through you, by you, with you, and for you.